Morgan, uh, good morning to you. So when you look at these numbers, how do you categorize a majority of maternal deaths? The majority of maternal deaths, Alex, when we look at these, are really broken down into a couple of categories. As a cardiologist, one thing that strikes me is that most of these deaths are cardiac related. They are due to either a heart incident or stroke. The next category really are mental health. And the mental health deaths are, are really tragic because they are 100% preventable. When we look at the cardiac deaths, according to the latest data, that's about 89% preventable. And then it also breaks down along racial lines and also along, along uh, socioeconomic and zip code. And so we've got to begin Begin to be unravel this and I think the Biden administration is trying to work towards that this 105 million dollar pledge but however if you spread this across the nation that's really going to be a very very small amount of money but certainly it is a start no I, I have a quick question about the the cardiac aspect about this because where is the correlation or the connection I guess between pregnancy and heart issues is it just that pregnancy is that hard on a woman's body and, and, and that causes extra strain or is this something that may have been pre-existing that a woman may not necessarily know? Excellent question, Alex, and it's really both. Pregnancy is really the very first stress test that a woman will have because of this volume overload from a cardiac perspective that a woman undergoes. And if you develop complications in your pregnancy, so for instance, gestational diabetes, gestational hypertension, preeclampsia, eclampsia, these all put you at risk of later cardiac events. This is the disconnect that we have had within medicine of making certain that we have a a, a, an appropriate handoff of these women from the obstetrician to the cardiologist after that baby is born safely. That woman should be followed by a perinatologist during uh, the pregnancy, but then after the pregnancy should be handed off to a cardiologist because we know if you've had any of those complications, your risk of heart disease or a subsequent heart event is uh, exponentially increased. And that's where we see these cardiac events. Mm -hmm. We also need to make certain within medicine that we continue to take the obstetric history of women throughout their lives. That history of whether your pregnancy was complicated by any of these factors can also cue doctors in to where they need to focus as they take care of this woman as she continues to age throughout her lifespan. I want to go back to something that you mentioned before, uh, talking about the mental health aspect of maternal mortality. I think a lot of people um, forget that part of it, right? And, and if you haven't gone through it, then it, it, it's hard to even imagine what a mom goes through postpartum. Um, how is mental health a driver of maternal mortality? Mental health is so often overlooked, and when we look at it, mental health actually can determine whether or not a woman will follow up for her uh, post-delivery visits up to six weeks, up to 12 weeks, whether or not she is managing the stress of being a new mother, whether or not she's taking her medications or even taking care of herself. It factors into the decision-making that may be made with regard to the interaction with the health system or the lack thereof, of, especially if there, are, um, if there are barriers in the way, if there's transportation or financial issues or social Social issues. Your mental health actually will determine oftentimes whether or not you keep those appointments. And so it's very important for us to address mental health during this post uh, delivery period where there is really increased stress in a woman's life as she is managing this, this new uh, paradigm and this new situation with having a baby who is now completely dependent on you. 
the other thing that we noted in mental health is that after six weeks, the, the for the most part, the only contact that a woman then will have with the medical establishment is in the pediatrician's right. office during doing well baby visits. And during those visits, no one is really checking on the mother. The shift focuses on the baby. Mm -hmm. And so that period after six weeks also becomes a very critical uh, period where many people are falling through the cracks. All right, cardiologist Dr. Jane Morgan, as always, thank you so much for your insight and taking the time out this morning for us. We appreciate it. We'll be back after a quick break.